Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today I'm playing the Catapult. I'm playing the Catapult K2 in an AC20 loadout. But I am not taking the two ballistic hard points for the both AC20s. I'm just taking one. Because I just wanted to do a very reasonable loadout today. Of course you could go for dual AC20, but then you had to strip down the mech so so much. You stripped down the armor and, and the engine to a very low rating and I tried to avoid that. I tried to do a reasonable build and I was like, um, yeah, just use one AC20 and put a large pulse laser and some medium lasers as backup on that. And it absolutely works out. So if the catapult had only one ballistic hard point, a lot of people would probably go for that here. And yeah, the second one just gives you options. So again, think about it uh, when you are building something together. You don't need to stick everything into all hard points to make the mech work. Just do, yeah, make smart choices and uh, yeah, do some do some stuff that just makes sense. Uh, anyway, we have a standard engine 280 that makes it so that you can lose the left side torso, and that is the side torso you should shield with because there is only a double heatsink at the medium laser here that is falling off when that one is destroyed. And I've got four tons of ammo. Very quick side note, in the first game I only had 3 tons of ammo and I dropped one and had another heatsink in that. But after playing the game I felt like I didn't need that additional heatsink and uh, I needed more ammunition. Therefore 4 tons of ammo, uh, one heatsink here, one heatsink in the engine. And uh, yeah, that, that basically is the build. Uh, the modules are advanced seismic sensor and uh, I've got AC20 cooldown and range. And a medium laser range module here because I want to shoot UAVs and yeah, I just want to align the range of the medium laser to the other ranges as well. The consumables are an improved UAV and a cool shot. A very quick side note again, uh, I just forgot about that. The AC20 on the catapult or ballistic weapons in general on the catapult K2, they have a ballistic range plus 20% and a velocity plus 20%. So we can shoot the AC20 at mid range and we will be able to hit our targets because the velocity really helps uh, yeah, with uh, leading the shots towards your target when it is moving. That's really cool. But anyway, that is the build. I hope you have a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day, we are playing Conquest on the Frozen City. We are going straight to Theta there, just because we can. I want to hide behind the ship and uh, then probably go to uh, the right side. I really hope that the team is following up there. That is very, very crucial for that strategy. So uh, I don't want to cap by myself, uh, just because I can't get out in time there. So I, I won't. I will be too late to get in there really quick and I will be uh, too slow to get out there when the team has arrived. So therefore, I want to support. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do here. So I'm just uh, checking if there is anything coming up. And obviously there is, uh, yeah, there's some assault max coming in. Um, their assault lines is going up to Delta 7. We can go to Upper City, I guess, and uh, just try to shoot them there. Let's move up to Echo 7. Ooh, okay, they are there. So the good thing about this catapult here, it has an amazing AC-20 range. That is cool. 350 meters is just great. Uh, problem is I can't seem to hit that one. Nope, it's not possible. And um, yeah, we're going just ahead and uh, walking up with the assault max. And we have a lot of assault max, so this is a very tonnage heavy match, so it seems. I'm pushing into Foxtrot 7. Gonna check you out. Kaboom. Oh, that went above his head. But it's not a problem. We are just going to kill the linebacker really quick. And after that, we are helping out the team against the enemy assaults. Uh, can you please stop jumping? That would be much appreciated. Uh, the LRM Timber Wolf in Echo 7. Nah, okay, that doesn't hit. Also, I should preserve my ammunition. I don't have too much for that to just take so many snapshots. So, yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and again try to support the assault max. Uh, they are absolutely wrecking shit already. Wow. Wow, that is that is hard. Hard and harsh. Yes, Timberwolf. Get that one really quick. And I'm getting shot by missiles because there is a UAV up. That is down now. Okay. So yeah, um, Echo 6, I guess. And then back to Theta. I think most of them are down below. So... I'm gonna shoot them then. There's a guy on my left. Uh, hello, Mr. Linebacker. Okay, there goes the arm. Did see him actually. All right, and I need to turn around again, and I'm getting a bit laggy here, which is a bit of a problem. But again, only a bit. Only a bit. Gonna help you out with that one. Good old Hellbringer. 
Uh, yeah, let's rip off his side also there. Good. Uh, that was a good start. Also, I'm narked, which is terrible for me, because they have so many missiles, so it seems. And yeah, the, the catapult it plays really, really well, because it is a very mobile, mobile heavy mech on lower spectrum of the tonnage. And uh, yeah, we are just moving all around the map, as you can see. Also, I need to get to heat vision here. I need to get the legs go away. Just because um, all those particles and all the snow stuff here. I hope you won't mind. Also, I should hit my targets. He's twisting really well. Also, I am not good at aiming today. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to kill the Banshee. Let's try to get him. That was a solid hit. And uh, where did he go? There he is. There he goes. Alright, back to the center then. Uh, because my team needs some help over there. Maybe I can get an angle from here. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to stay here. There's no need for me to go in. Is that enemy? I'm sorry, I'm just shooting blindly here. But yeah, that is the Marauder to see. And I'm a bit out of range. Uh, maybe I should move up. Okay, the Marauder is probably dead. Yes, and there was another mech, which is a Huntsman. Yeah, auto cannon is now empty, but we've got still some good laser vomit. Um, I mean, one large pulse and two mediums. It's not vomit, it is laser weapons <laughs> in general. So toggle on armlock to hit all this stuff at the same point. And then we're going to destroy that huntsman really quick. And with really quick, I mean somewhat quick. Okay. I think I just can't follow up on him. He shouldn't be too fast. Mm, there he goes. One component down, and he is dead. All right, it was a nice game, very dynamic. I like the dynamics of that one. And uh, since there's only one enemy left, I'm, I think I'm going to cap here. I'm going to help out at Theta. That is the best thing I can now do. But yeah, as you can see, there is a bit of an ammo issue. I'm not sure if I should, should uh, swap a heat sink for more ammunition. And I'm trying that in the second game. So. Yeah, I guess. I guess I was a bit too low in ammo. Uh, when you miss a lot of your shots, then uh, you don't deal that much damage with your IC-20. And then it's just not worth the wait. So let's let's drop a heatsink and and add some more ammo. And I think um, the main weapon is the IC-20 anyway. And you are not shooting the lasers too often. So the bit of uh, heat management loss shouldn't be an issue, right? Uh, anyway, again, there's one enemy left. We have all the capture points. It should be over in a second. But yeah, what's really cool about the catapult is here, it will highly benefit from the light fusion engine that will be introduced with the new tech. That will be cool. So that one could be could be potentially a very good and viable double AC-20 carrier. You have the light fusion engine that only takes up two slots, of course, in each side also. And uh, then you can just uh, slap the AC-20s on it. And uh, when one of your side torso gets blown off, you are not automatically dead then. That is really cool. So, I'm really looking forward for that. Also, I have no idea where the last enemy is. Uh, there we go. Alright, we got him. Okay, that was the first decent round. Let's have a look at the end score. And then we are going over to the next game here. I was about to say video, but no, the game. Come on, end screen. Uh, 535. I dealt 71 team damage. Wow. I think I just blew a side trouser off of one of my buddies with a very unlucky shot. Oh, I'm sorry for that. But uh, three killing blows, five assists, and uh, nine components destroyed. That was the first one. Let's go over to the next. All right, second game. We are playing Domination on the Canyon Network. And Virgil is demon for fun, someone told me. <laughs> uh, Okay, I, I, I'm just, yeah, let it let it be. <laughs> okay, uh, we are going to the circle, of course. We are trying to uh, go around Delta 4, probably right side. But, what? don't shoot me. What, what was that? Uh, no, wrong, wrong button. That was what I wanted to do. Also, I have more ammo now and I can shoot the people at medium and long distance. Also, please don't shoot me with the missiles. No! Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that went to the left also, which is not a problem. But could you please stop? No, I don't want to get missiled by you. That actually hit, and it hit in the rear. Damn it! No, that's not okay. That is not okay. 
Also, why, why, why don't I have a large pulse laser only weapon group here? Oh no, 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 PPCs. Uh, they have snipers, PPCs, and Echo 4. Can the light please harass that Warhawk? Echo 4, we need that one to be taken down really quick. Or at least distract him, push him back to cover. Uh, if we can't peek here, it's not possible. Okay, what are we going to do? We can shoot the Kodiak there, because he is about 500. Never mind, we've got another target, the Mad Dog here. Kaboom! That's a big hole in your armor, man. And we hit the Arctic Cheetah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get up here. Try to hit the Mad Dog again, or the Kodiak, or all of them. As long as nobody is in the left flank, uh, we can actually stay here, but we've got some targets. Yes, now I'm pinned. Ooh, let's get out of here. Okay, uh, still in the game, still in the fight, still dangerous. And um, there's a guy coming up, a night guy. Night -gyr guy. Night guy. -gyr. I have no idea what it is called, but uh, yeah, I continue shooting that guy. No, don't do that to me. Okay. Yeah, the problem is uh, I'm, I'm so out of position here and I need to go back somewhat. Because it's, it's not possible for me to stay here and uh, I, I need to do something, but I can't because there's something on the right, there's something on the left and my team is trying to take the center. It's super risky what I'm doing, but I'm doing it now because I want to be significant to the fight. Please take down the snipers on the ridges, Delta 5, Charlie 5. Those are nasty. We can't do something in the center when they are there. Okay, let's see. You, you are still here, all right. Left torso critical. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do something here, but my, my team is so static. They try to peek, and peeking is not what we should do right now. Really, we need to be aggressive. We need to push them back and then go to the to the sniper dudes on the on the ridges there. Oh damn it! Don't die on me, please. Uh, somebody down below. Yes. Ah, that is the Maddock from before. And there's something. Okay, let's go for heat vision here. Oh, guys, please don't die. Please don't do that to me. Now, oh, I can't peek now. It's not possible for me alone. I need to wait for somebody else to peek. But apparently, my team has missiles and PPCs and such shenanigans. Okay, let's get out here. What's good is that we have the dominance in the center. So, yeah, that, that is a start. Uh, the enemy needs to go in now. They have to do something about it. And that means that we have some some open spot here to actually push. And this is what I'm going to do now. New target acquired. So let's push up a bit. We have the dominance in the circle. Let's drive them out. Can we kill him? Hello, good sir. Uh, one more. Okay, the missiles just hit him. That was good. Shadowcat is next. And see what I mean? Just apply pressure to the enemy and then they f they are falling back and they can't help but just run and try to get out of the situation. Also, I'm not hitting my shots. Let's take down you, please. Thank you. I'm still in it and I'm still hot. And now, okay, now they got me. All right. <laughs> It's okay. It's absolutely fine. We won the game. I tanked a lot of damage from my team. And maybe I opened up some space to fight. But it was hell of a messy one. I wish we had been more aggressive in the first place. But again, 518 damage was not too shabby. We got 7 uh, kill assists, uh, 3 kill most damage level actually. And 2 components destroyed. That was a decent one. A decent one. And uh, yeah, that was your daily dose for today. I hope you like it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below in the description. There's a link to my Patreon page. There you can get some rewards and keep me going. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.